It is the PHN five minute post game. It's in five minutes or less, or it's yours free. I am Dan Kingerski from PPG Paints Arena. It was some of the most exciting hockey I've ever seen. The final two minutes, the Penguins' furious comeback against the New York Rangers wasn't enough as the Rangers win three to two. The Rangers have now won two of the three meetings this season. Not counting that stinker last Friday night, two of the three games have been decided by one goal. The Penguins winning one to nothing, and the Rangers winning, of course, on Tuesday, three to two. Uh, the Penguins, there were several facets to the game. Brian Boyle said that on the whole, they're not happy with their game. And the Penguins really, in the first two periods, uh, were a little bit passive in the offensive zone. They had uh, 10 shots at the end of the second period. Uh, they added a couple during the intermission to give the Penguins 12 shots on goal. But that's not nearly enough to beat a team like the New York Rangers and a goalie like Igor Shesterkin. Mike Sullivan rejected the notion that they gave the goalie too much respect. Jake Gensel agreed that they gave Shesterkin too much respect. Said they have to put more pucks on the net. They have to get more shots more traffic, do more of, of those gritty and dirty things. And I would uh, tend to agree more with uh, Jake Gensel than, than Mike Sullivan, who maybe was protecting his guys a little bit from, from our questions on Tuesday night. Brian Boyle and Teddy Bluger again producing offense. Uh, uh, Boyle and Radim Zahorna, 13 feet of human being went to the net on the Penguins' uh, first goal. And, and Shesterkin uh, probably couldn't see the shot until the last second. Boyle made a, a nice tip to get the goal. And then Sidney Crosby on a little give and go at the top of the zone scored a, a power play goal. But in between that was a lot of Penguins puck possession, a lot of Penguins skating, but not a lot of Penguins shots. They didn't get the bulk of their 24 shots until the back half of the third period. I, I think maybe five came. In the final few minutes, several came with uh, Tristan Jari pulled with two and a half minutes to go down by one. And, and let me tell you that, that this fans, first of all, were streaming out of the place down one goal. I, we were a little bit shocked in the press box watching fans run for the exits with three minutes to go, two and a half minutes to go. But uh, if Genny Malkin makes a couple of saves with, you know, in front of the empty net, Ricard Raquel hugs the post and takes a slap shot from from Chris Kreider to protect that empty net. I, I think the Penguins really began to um, feel the urgency in the final minutes. Perhaps their maturity, perhaps their age. They are one of the oldest teams in the NHL. They, they, they knew this game is a game with 15 games to go in the season, or, or 14 to go, and didn't necessarily have the same urgency until the end of the third period that they, they showed. Had they showed a bit more of that in the first or the second period, uh, I, I think they were outplaying New York. I, I think they controlled territory. I think they controlled the puck. It was just uh, some, some breakdowns. New York does have a very good four check. Let's not take anything away from the New York Rangers uh, who have uh, tremendous speed, tremendous talent, especially in their top nine. Even missing Ryan Strom, the Rangers' lines are still absolutely uh, stacked. And they got after the Penguins' defenseman. That's how uh, you know New York scored their first goal. If I uh, grab Frank Vetrano, uh, you know, and let me actually go to yeah, yeah, it was Vetrano after Brian Dumoulin failed to clear it twice and Danton Heinen's pass to, to nowhere, Vetrano wide open in the slot just wheeled around and you know kind of fired a blind shot past Tristan Jari. It's those little breakdowns. When you're not firing the puck on net, they seem to wind up in your own. And I think maybe that was the story of the Penguins evening. They do lose three to two. And as I promised, under five minutes. So it's uh, still yours free. We'll do it again. Uh, in fact, we, I think I owe you all a live chat here pretty soon. We haven't done one of those in probably a month as the schedule has just been uh, not so conducive. So we'll do a live chat from the studio very soon. In the spiffy suit, if I do say so myself, I'm Dan Kingerski on the National Hockey Now and the Pittsburgh Hockey Now YouTube channel. Please like and follow, and we'll talk soon.